Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be my top 10 stocks as we head into Thursday, November 3rd. This will be a technical analysis breakdown. So if you are somebody that uses charts within your trading, or maybe you're just interested in learning more about charts and how they can be used as a tool to help make good decisions as a trader, this will be a video for you. Real quick, a couple clarification points. First off, I'll be using the 30 minute time frame, meaning each one of these candlesticks here represents 30 minutes worth of time. And then next, when you look over here, you'll see that number changing around and the candlestick right there will also be changing around. That is because the market's still open for a small amount of time. But I like to do these videos when the market is still open because sometimes we can capture some really interesting late day price movement. So stock number one here, AMD. Massive volume today, it had earnings, but also you factor in the Fed Reserve decision today and the announcement and the speech. And as you can see here, the price has been all over the place, but interestingly enough, the price is sitting right at some very, very key levels, which will make a little bit more sense to those of you that have watched past watch those videos. But if you haven't, I have put these red and green lines in place for quite a while now. And you know, just to give you an overall context of where they're coming from. But what's crazy about today is when you stop and think how the price, yeah, it started off with a breakout above that level. But then once the price fell back below it, on the recovery, Surprise, surprise, that level went right back to acting as resistance. And then you see the big, big move down here. And you can see that right now, the price is at that lower trend line, which does bring about the very important question, what exactly is gonna happen at that trend line? And that's really what a watch list is all about. Finding unique, finding interesting situations and not rushing out and randomly buying stuff, but watching it and seeing how the price behaves and seeing if it does behave in a way that fits your personal risk tolerance and you know, trading strategy. So you know what's gonna happen at this trend line? Nobody knows that, but what everybody is gonna know is that, okay, you're gonna have a lot of people watching that. You're gonna have longs watching it, looking for a bounce. That is valid. You're gonna have shorts watching it for a breakdown, also valid. So somebody's gonna be right, somebody's gonna be wrong, but that's why risk management matters. But like I said, the underlying and common denominator here is that this is a very, very established level and a level that a lot of people will be watching. So let's see what happens here with AMD at that trend line. Next one here, STRY, and I like this one as it's a good solid pattern. So let me be very clear as I draw this pattern in play here, I'm not trying to imply that this is a great skill, that I have some sort of special talent. I assure you a lot of people are drawing these very same lines. And I say all that because when a lot of people are watching the same pattern and wondering the same thing, let me change that to green to represent support. But like I said, when people are watching the same thing, wondering the same thing, call it a self-filling prophecy, call it whatever you want, it can produce some very dynamic movements. So just to make this a little bit easier to see maybe, let's make it one color, resistance. We have our support. We have the big momentum move right here. Let's put our golf hole down here. And that is what we would call a bull pennant pattern, the golf hole not required. So again, are there guarantees in the market? There are not, but is it plausible to think that if the price comes up to that top, top part of the pattern and breaks up through it, that that break in and of itself could create additional buying pressure. That's certainly a plausible outcome that could play out. So if you like to play penny stocks, if you like to play bull pennant patterns, here you go. Next one, FRZA, and I like this one. Once again, going back to that topic of self-fulfilling prophecies, and like I've said, I'm not trying to impress anybody, but in my mind, a lot of people have drawn that resistance line right there at $2.60. And you're gonna have a lot of breakout players watching, rightfully so, makes sense. Okay, nice move up. The price has come down and now it's just chopping around and consolidating, but all this is occurring at a higher level. So you have this higher level right here, but sure, you do have this resistance right there, but you do have this big momentum move. So this would be a bull flag, bull pennant pattern, however you wanna look at it. But really just to boil it down and you know make it, at least in my mind, eyes, the most simple, a lot of people are gonna be watching that 260 mark. What's gonna happen? Nobody knows that, but you're gonna have a lot of people watching and you gotta get enough people watching. You can potentially get those self-fulfilling prophecies. So let's see if the price can get back up to 260 and if it breaks up through it, does it get more momentum? Next one, NIO, and a rough day on this one, like a lot of stocks across the market due to the you know all the drama with the Fed. But all things considered, everything's, it's, it's hanging in there. What do I mean by quote unquote hanging in there? Well, this green line here, which I've put on in past videos, you can see the price is still above it. In fact, the price hasn't even tested it. Yeah, the price got, I guess, somewhat close, somewhat close, it's somewhat close right there. But as of now, not only is the price maintaining above that green line, it has not even tested it. Now, if the price does come down there and you know test it and breaks through it, at that point, things start to get sketchy because now you have the price starting to head right back to where everything started in terms of that big bounce right there. And when price movements go back to where they were, where they started, not exactly a sign of genuine strength or anything like that. Not saying that'll occur, but just to, you know explaining why that green line is important. And the current value of that green line right there at $9.35. So keep an eye on that from a support side of things. In terms of areas of resistance, main dynamic, to watch that I think a lot of people will be watching is that trend line right there. 
So keep an eye on that, which pushes the breakout point right up around the $10.10 mark. But yeah, rough day today. But like I said, all things considered, the chart is hanging in there. Next one here, AMC, and same general idea of the one we just talked about, NIO. But this one's a little different because that green line today was indeed tested, it was broken, and now you can see here the price is falling further and further below it, which is now putting the, whoops, behind my ugly mug there, let's move this, there we go. Which is now starting to put the price even closer and closer to where this big bounce right there started. So to think, good solid bounce, and now all of a sudden the price is getting closer and closer to going right back to where it started, which again, not exactly a sign of genuine strength, genuine power. So very rough day today, not necessarily because it was a red day, but because that green line has been violated. And not only that, the price just continued to drop and drop and drop after the price got down through it, which brings about the first key update. And that's just based on a foundational rule and charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So if there is any sort of bounce in the upward direction, $6 will be that main area of resistance. But yeah, as of right now, things are looking very, very shaky. Real quick, wanted to take a break and personally invite you to get signed up for this free live online training event that I'm offering here very soon. So if you've been enjoying what you've seen and you wanna learn more about this tool, how it can and should be used as a trader, then definitely get signed up for the free training. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a link down in the description box. If you're watching on my site, there's an area right there on the webpage that you can click to get signed up. So like I said, if you've been enjoying what you've seen, then I want you to get signed up for this free class. Next one, SOFI and the ugly from yesterday has just continued and continued to bleed and bleed and bleed. And I mean, this is the epitome of a gap and trap and borderline pump and dump. Now, I don't mean pump and dump in the sense of this is some sort of scammy company being run out of a bunker in Somalia. I'm not saying that, but I mean, just such a big gap up. And then literally after that gap up, essentially straight down with it now at lows. So it becomes one of these things where I don't want to say this one's a super popular stock, but it is relatively popular out there, a popular price range. So it just, you know, begs the question, all right, if this thing pulls back a bit more, where could this thing potentially bounce? And the next potential area does seem to be right down there around $4.90, which the last time you can see price got down around this area. Uh, it did indeed hold strong and got some good bounces both there and there. So does that mean that it'll for sure bounce from there if only trading were that easy? But is it at least a plausible, is it at least a, a, a rational scenario that it could find some support and bounce from that area? Absolutely. So keep an eye on 490 as far as supports. If there are any other attempts back in the upward direction, then thinking back to that rule of when levels of support being broken turn into resistance, that's where that pink line comes into play, which could potentially act as a resistance there at $5.28. So keep around those couple levels here moving forward. Next one here, AMZN, Amazon, another very popular stock and goes back to the whole idea of very popular stocks starting to get beat down, starting to get uh, you know really driven into the ground. There can be some very worthwhile bounces and Amazon is, is certainly a very popular stock. Put that green line into play yesterday as something that I was curious about. And you can see that earlier on in the day, it was doing its best to hold above that green line, but then when it did fall, slight move back, and then that's where the announcement came out, so got the craziness, and then just right back below it went. You can see try tried to bounce back up, but a classic example of that support turning to resistance before heading back down. So that line, I mean, yeah, you could still use it, but I'm just gonna make this a little bit simpler from the big picture point of view in two forms. First off, let's just get this tread line in play. I think that will be valuable and helpful moving forward. But even if you don't wanna use that tread line, I would offer no arguments against just simply using, uh, no pun intended, that 50 period, it's simple moving average right there. So you can keep an eye on that, or you can use both of those as you know means of resistance. As far as supports are concerned, we gotta go to the daily time frame here because we have to go way back into the chart's history. So now each one of these candlesticks does indeed represent one day instead of 30 minutes. Oh, wow. There we go. So we're, I mean, I'm not exaggerating when I say we're going years into the chart. So it has been years since the last time price, or Amazon was down around this area with the next key level being down there at $90. So $90, and I'll throw in just one more in case the craziness continues. And then after $90, next key level of support being right down there around the $86. So 90 and then 86, next couple areas of support. But yeah, we are talking about new multi-year lows here for Amazon. Next one, TSLA Tesla. And like a lot of these stocks, rough days, had that one initial surge where it acted like it wanted to be strong and then it came back down, which is now putting Tesla at some very interesting levels from a support side, uh, side of things with that key level of support. Now being right down here around that former breakout point, Oh, wow, I didn't realize that was close, but basically $215 right there, an interesting level that I'll personally be watching and as somebody that always keeps a close eye on Tesla. And you're gonna have a lot of people watching it. You're gonna have those shorts wondering if it breaks. 
I could see that opening up the, the floodgates of downwards momentum, completely valid. I can also see the price bouncing up there. Those people, I, I understand their rationale there too. Um, so that's where the big question mark comes into play. And like I said at the beginning of the video, that's what a watch list is all about. Finding unique, finding inter interesting situations and watching them and see how the price ultimately behaves. So yeah, 215, certainly gonna be a key level there. If there are any other attempted, attempted bounces in the upwards direction, we'll just call it 219 will be that main area of resistance. Next, PLTR, been a while since I've done this one and a rough move like a lot, but unlike some of these other charts, this one has come down here and now pushed down through uh, that 200 period moving average to pink line there at 8.30. Um, so yes, it, it's a bad day just because it is a red day, but then you throw in the technical uh, point of view of how it's also broken down through that moving average and that just adds to kind of the spiciness that yeah, it, it's been a rough day. So you're gonna wanna keep a close eye on that level there, the 200 period moving average. Because to be fair, it's not like it destroyed it and broke through it and then is you know closing way down here. It's still within the range of it. So I could see it you know, potentially trying to get back above it. That doesn't seem so unrealistic that could happen on Thursday. So keep a eye on that general dynamic. But then as far as next levels of support or concern, next level to watch, I'd say very closely gonna be right down there at the $8 mark, which I, I don't think is completely unreasonable given how much downwards momentum showed up. Um, so we'll see what happens with it. But yeah, if $8 shows up and the price just goes through there like a warm knife through butter at that point, that would be a very, very big sign of bearishness. Next one here, TQQQ, and as I say, and as I've been tracking this one quite a bit because it's the most popular stock out there, at least on volume, it's always leading the market in total volume. But this is an ETF that allows you to make money if you think that the NASDAQ market is going to go up. And the NASDAQ market did not go up today, hence the just terrible bloodshed move here, which now creates some very interesting dynamics because we're getting the price down at some very interesting levels. The first one being, which is within striking distance, is this gap closed location right here at what I'm gonna call $17.75. I am very, very interested in this level. I think it you know, contains a lot of significance because it goes back to the whole talking point of if the price were to come down here, break through it and then continue on down. Now all of a sudden we're starting to have the conversation of the price having gone right back to where this big move here started. And when movements go back to where they started, like I said, not exactly a sign of genuine strength genuine power. In fact, that's what you would call a dead cat bounce. So has this all been a prolonged dead cat bounce? I'm not willing to concede that quite yet. Uh, but yeah, if the price gets down to 1775, breaks through it, and then continues to bleed and bleed and come down through there, at that point, it becomes a very realistic scenario that we could, it's only a matter of time before new lows show up. So that wraps up the temp, top 10 list. Again, if you like what you saw here, then I want you to get signed up for the free training. Like I said, it'll be very soon, Thursday, November 3rd at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So I hope to see you there. As far as these top 10 videos are concerned, if you enjoy these, hit that like button, leave a simple comment down below. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good one.